Okay, now we're going to discuss the delays. There's two types of delays. Uh, there's basically avoidable, which is flag with an A, and U for unavoidable delays. And it's done very similar to the um, variated, non-variated. Again, you're going to ele elements selection over here. So we tap on the elements. It's going to bring it up here. And let's go down and look for the delays. So you can see them here. The ones that are defined in the Excel sheet are defined over here. Again, it's very straightforward. You just tap on the item you want. So I want to go to weight orders. I'm going to tap on the avoidable delays there. And you can see it's basically either unavoidable, avoidable, or not applicable. So not applicable will actually remove it there. You see it took it out there. So if I go back in again, tap on it again, I want to make it an avoidable delay. I tap on it, and it can put an A back in there. So you can see it's very easy to change them here. And you can do that in any one. So update IT record. Uh, let's say other was an avoidable delay. So we can click on that. You can say avoidable. And it puts it in there for you. A for avoidable right on the other here. So we can take it in and out. So you can remove them and add them very easily as you go through here. When you're finished, of course, don't forget to use the back button up at the top here, and that will take you back to the data collection area. Again, if you use the back button on a device, it will take you out. I'll show you an example of that here. So let's say I was to go back into the elements here, and I'm going to fix the avoidable and unavoidable here, right? And let's say instead of using the uh, the back button, so I say it's uh, it's avoidable here, puts an A in there, right? And what I'm going to do is just use the back button on the device here. It takes you right out again. But fortunately, if you start up the Timer Pro again, it's going to take you right back in. But uh, in this case, the program wasn't running, so you wouldn't lose anything. You'd maybe the only thing you could lose if you would use the back button would be the last entry.